All right. Back one more time before I go to bed. <sighs> what was I going to do? Oh, yeah. Got one back. Mobs. Okay. So I got the troops that I wanted for the next two. Oh, and I got a bonus too. Let me do that. All right. Oh, yeah. Not the next two. We had to finish that one. Just kind of a waste, but we need to do it. All right. So I wanted to do one of each. A giant. I'm half mumbling to myself. All right. A giant. <laughs> Giant, a balloon, and a wizard on each one of these. Did I not put a balloon down on that one? Yeah, I did. Maybe? I don't know. This one I need to get wall breakers in there. So let's see if I can strike the mortar. Perfect. Get a heal on there. Some wizards. Spells, kind of an overkill, but that works. Okay, so now I should have troops ready. I got extra spells. Let's let's do that one more time. That's not going to get done in time, but we can still do one more. This one I already looked at, and I can just do giants and wizards and balloons for the mortars. All right. of steel you mean three gaping holes to get inside all right walls of steel <laughs> I would say probably three balloons maybe on each archer tower two giants and three balloons so let's do this it's gonna mess things up three giant no two giants that's all I need and balloons Wish I could speed those up without using gems. Alright. Okay. I don't know. Alright, it's kind of messed up now, but. So I just needed two giants to distract the archer towers, and then probably three or four balloons. So, we can get one more knocked out. Assuming there is no air defense, um, that could be a problem. So I was just looking at the Clash Wiki. So that was saying one balloon, ten archers, ten giants, and five barbarians. Deploy a few barbarians to set up traps. Deploy five giants per side to destroy the air defense. 
and the balloon. Okay, we took care of that one. Gobble Campus, 10 Giants and 50 Barbarians. That's what they were recommending back in 2014. 10 Barbarians per Archer Tower. Now that was the three Archer Towers on the outside. 10 Giants at the bottom. It's interesting, there's no use of any wall breakers on these. That's interesting. Well, a lot of them, I guess, are balloons, so just flying over everything. Danny Boy was 8 Giants, 15 Barbarians, and 40 Archers. 15 Barbarians on the top Archer Tower. Oh, last one we just did. 15 Barbarians at the top Archer Tower. 10 Giants to destroy... Hold on, let me look. 15 Barbarians at the top Archer Tower. 10 Giants to destroy the air defense. Oh, so this top one up here. 15 Barbarians, 10 Giants to go through there to get the air defense. And then the balloon to take out the rest. Okay, what? How in the world would that work? Hold on. So I'm just watching the, oh. Eight giants, 15 barbarians, and 40 archers. Deploy 15 barbarians at the top archer tower. So they did that, but then they put a bunch of archers behind the barbarians. And then the barbarians went down that first top pass and set off a bunch of bombs. And they send in the giants, which go after the cannons and the air defense. Then they're taking what looks like probably 10 archers a piece, so 30. 10 archers on that archer tower, 10 there, 10 there to distract those. Once those three are gone, then the balloon goes in. Hmm, okay, that makes sense. So barbarians and archers at this top one, send in the giants to take out the air defense, and then about Look like about 10 archers per archer tower and then the balloon to take out the rest. Cool. Omaha Beach was what? 10 giants, 30 barbarians, and 40 archers. 15 barbarians per archer tower. We just used giants. 5 giants per side at the top. Oh, okay. So barbarians to take out the two archer towers. 10 giants at the top. 5 on each mortar. Does that make sense? And then 10 archers per cannon, so each one of the cannons. What about the archer towers? Oh, so the barbarians take out the archer towers, the barbarians almost take out the two air defenses as well. Oh, so the giants make it all the way to the archer towers. So the giants take out the archer towers and the mortars, and then the archers take out the two cannons on each side. Walls of steel, 15 barbarian, 12 giants, and two balloons. Deploy a few barbarians next to Archer Tower to activate spring traps. Ah, so there are traps over the Archer Tower. So there's spring traps by the Archer Towers, which I was going to send the giants in for those. So I don't want them getting shot off. I just need balloons. So I'm going to send the giants in at kind of a distance and then send the balloons in right at the little red mark there. That way the Archer Towers will be distracted long enough. Play five giants to destroy five giants on each side to destroy the archer towers, and then balloons to do the rest. All right, so we got eight. So let me move those archers over. And I'll just use the archers to get rid of the traps. I guess that way we can get three done, and then I can go and crash for the night. Just gonna throw everything else off. Let's let's get rid of these here. Oh, my beach is done. Well, it's still. Okay, so we wanted to get rid of traps, apparently. Do one, two. There we go. Do giant. Do one, two, three. Do the same here. Spring traps. Giant. One, two, three. One, two, four. Let's find that. Okay. And that's what's interesting about the Goblin map is, um, it pretty much is the same way for War as well. But for the Goblin map, you can look at the base, and you can completely plan out what you want to bring, and build your army, bring exactly what you need to do it. Same for War. Once you get into War, 
you get to see what base you're going to attack if you have a good clan that kind of follows some rules as far as like who's attacking who instead of just being a free-for-all but that lets you take a look at your enemy's base and completely plan out the troops that you want to bring in for exactly what you want to do which is interesting I mean I did that in the start in the beginning when I started but now I pretty much just do air attacks so it's like eight or nine dragons and the rest are balloons and if you looked at any of my other videos on here you see I've shown the attacks that I do from all my accounts and they're all pretty much identical I do like a wall of dragons and then a wall of balloons right behind the dragons and then the heroes and then I put down three rage and then three haste so basically just a wall of spells and then I keep the two freezes that I have just kind of place them as needed to freeze defenses so you don't necessarily want to like just spam troops but with my other accounts that's I don't spam I guess like just put everybody down all at once but I do and I don't I put them down in a specific order in a certain placement instead of just putting them all in a bunch and letting them go but at the lower levels kind of ish you want to kind of plan things out a little bit for your attacks or just kind of find an army that works for you um, either get some barbarians follow them up with archers behind them so the bar barbarians can distract the defenses and the archers can shoot over the walls and whatnot or barbarians and wizards because they're a little more stronger or even giants is like tanks and wizards behind them or giants and balloons that way wizard towers and archers and stuff that are going to hit the balloons are distracted by the giants and going after the giants instead of balloons so just some ideas i guess don't know what i'm doing for this army but don't really care because I'm just going to do some attacks tomorrow anyway. Okay, so let's go back to... Let's go back to that army. Yeah, that's been pretty good so far. So what I've just been doing is put in giants first, usually, followed by a wall of wizards, some wall breakers to get the giants inside the base, followed up by some balloons, either behind the giants or just kind of off to the side once some of the defenses are distracted and then the goblins just to kind of clean up as the defenses go away okay so that's it for now oh hey 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 we got 100 there research potion nice so that'll just speed up my laboratory for an hour i'm not going to do that now because there's only three hours left but probably tomorrow when i start one of these other ones i'll use those that boost potion it basically boosts the laboratory by 24 times the speed for one hour. So I'll use that tomorrow. That way I can get a few of these done. Yep, what do we have here? Collect 20 stars. Oh, so if I do some attacks, I get another one done. And then I'll have all three of my builders free tomorrow morning. So I can get some more. I can get the two barracks done and get the storages done tomorrow. And then possibly by tomorrow night, you can have the town hall going to 7 already. That does go pretty quick when you're not really upgrading much of anything. We still have tons of gold. And then I can do some of these tomorrow. I'll get more loot, but I'm already maxed on gold, so I'm going to be losing out on a lot of gold. But I guess I won't be using that much anyway. So, oh well. Alright, well, thanks for watching.